Brandon Waters, offensive line coach, 14 years here at Maryville High School. My name is Ricky Upton. This is my 16th year at Maryville. I coach the D-line. As a three-year starting offensive lineman uh, here at Maryville High School from 2000 to 2002, uh, I was on three state championship teams, and so uh, that led into uh, a four-year career at Tennessee Tech. Uh, started over uh, 40 games. Um, that led into a graduate assistantship at UT for two years. Uh, and then I went to Heritage High School for two years as an offensive line coach and the strength coach. Uh, and then I got here and uh, I've been here ever since. Yeah, Coach Waters, I mean, he literally dedicates his life to better our players and our program and really all of our athletes at Maribel High School. He spends so much time researching, um, you know, not just in the athletic training field, but also kind of in the science and medical field too, to try to give our kids an advantage on injury, prehab, you know, rehabilitation, obviously explosion and strength. Um, it's incredible the things that he's able to accomplish in an off season with high school athletes. And I don't think there's anybody better than him in the profession. Of course, I'm biased. Um, you know, he's. He's my, he's my third cousin, so uh, we have a history, but I just think that he's irreplaceable. Uh, I heard a long time ago a strength coach say he never wanted to see his kids fail, and I always disagreed with that because I feel like if you don't fail, you never know what it's like to be successful. And so I want our kids to fail a lot, but I also want them to know when they experience success, it's because they've worked their rear ends off to get there. When you're in that weight room, he will spend just as much time, energy, and effort coaching our starting quarterback or our starting middle linebacker or whoever, as well as you know a freshman who may never play a down. It doesn't matter what they're lifting, the weights, and what they're doing. He's going to spend just as much time teaching and investing in that kid. And to me, that is phenomenal from somebody who's as good as he is. Well, starting as a running back at Jefferson County, um, I was okay. I was able to earn a scholarship at Penn State. Um, and then I really learned humility there. Um, going from a big fish in a small pond to becoming a small fish in a big pond struck me hard. Um, there are some lessons I learned at Penn State uh, when it comes to coaching. Yeah, so Coach Upton, you know, in high school, I think his senior year, he was probably the best player in the state of Tennessee at running back at Jefferson County. And you know, there's folklore about him. I've heard all the, the, the stories, uh, him playing high school football and just how good of a player he was. And so then he went to play at Penn State. So he's, he, 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 know, he knows what big time college football feels like. And yet here he is at Maryville. Um, he's coaching D-line and he does it. Um, with such a humble you know, and grounded w way. And that's what I just appreciate about him. He he's extremely thoughtful. Uh, Coach Upton, uh, you know, he teaches English, you know, so he's, he's got a way with words, you know, and he's, you know, he's a smart guy. Coming to Maryville is a different factor. It is an amazing place. There's not many places that you can go where every Friday night you're gonna have people in the stands and it feels like on the home side it's a sellout crowd. Um, being at Jefferson County where I thought it was a football tradition, uh, like you know it's a one school county um, and so I, I thought I knew some things like that but here it is amazing to see the fanfare and how the community just comes out to support uh, the school. And he's able to get the best out of them, he pushes them hard. And I think a lot of our kids love playing for him. Um, but like I said, there's just so much respect for what he's done in his playing career. And then, you know, just to handle this, himself the way he does on the field and you know, he, the way he shows humility and, and interacts with our kids and invests and loves them. And he, uh, he tells his kids he loves them all the time. And that means a lot to me and uh, really special. He's a great father, great husband. He's everything we want as a teacher and coach at Maryville High School. Uh, I love to see them want to be successful, and I love building those relationships when it's tough. Uh, 
I don't want it to be easy for any kid. I want every kid to experience some level of success, but also some level of where they have to learn how to overcome to be successful. And so they